Hello and welcome to a quick start video of my open source pipeline Plex. My name is Alexander Richter, I'm a technical director and I'll give you a quick overview of how to set up Plex. First things first, let's browse to the Plex repository. The link is github.com slash richteralexander slash Plex. For the download you now have two options. Either download the repository as a zip file or do a git clone. We use the second option. For that matter, you should have git installed. Open the git bash and type in git clone, the link, and then the folder name Plex. Git now creates the folder and downloads the repository. The benefit of using git for that matter is that you have the chance to update your version with git pull. While the downloading is happening, let's have a look into a quick section of the wiki. So, in terms of dependencies, we have three. The most important one is the YAML API, which is used for the configuration data. The other two are mainly for desktop applications like our desktop. For that matter, you will need Python 2.7 and PySight. The download is now finished. Before executing any software, we should check our project and software settings. You find the needed files in Plex Data Project Default. First, let's open Project YAML. The main parts there are your project name, path, resolution, and FPS. Also check the folder paths of your project. After that, we open the software YAML, where the software data is stored. The main point is to set the right version number. Should your installation path differ from the default one, you can change that on a specific path variable. Now it is time to execute the software. Let's begin with our desktop, which is an OS application. Our desktop provides you with some options, including reports and help links. Admin, your personal, your project, software, here's the report and here's help. If you click on report, it will guide you to the issue repository where you can write your report. If you click on help, it will guide you to the specific help like our desktop wiki. So let's start up Nuke. When you start Nuke, it will automatically trigger the pipeline Nuke which means it will set up all the paths and on all the configurations you did up in this configuration files. Which means, for example, we have now our project inside uh, Nuke, which we call new project. So you see it here. It also knows who you are. It knows all the paths you added. It all knows all the scripts and it set up all the settings like resolution, FPS, and specific custom nodes. So if we bring up the main window, you see that you that in this scene properties, the new product is set, also the 25 FPS we managed. There is a custom toolbar from Plex with all the custom settings. And you can even create your IDIR write node, which allows more features than the typical write node from Yuke. For more information, check out the repository, specifically the wiki, where you can find all the explanations of all the scripts and applications. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy to work with Plex and can create great projects with that. Goodbye. <music>